today I'm going to be doing an interview for another Rick at Home position. So guys, I just got these new um, sheets from Walmart actually. So these are like the flannel material. And I don't know if you guys can like tell, but they're like really, really soft. I feel like this pattern is really good for fall and winter. I'm just gonna make my bed and then I'm going to put on our fluffy white comforter. Yeah, this is a really nice, the description was down. I don't really, I don't know. It kind of feels like it, it is actually. I think this is a duvet insert. Is this, I think this might be a duvet insert. Actually guys, I'm sorry. I'm really not sure, but I got this from Amazon and I don't think there's um like feathers actually. No, there's not feathers in here, but it's similar to like a down comforter and it keeps us really warm. Got this from Walmart, queen size, it's like $25. Um, if you guys go to their like blanket throw section, since this is like an in-season print, you guys could probably find it in Walmart very easily. I have these really pretty big um, white decorative like throw pillows for the bed. So I feel like those in combination with these will look really nice. So, you know, we're about to go to bed, so I'm not gonna like dress it up too much, but yeah. Hey guys happy saturday um i'm just checking in like just coming on the camera i'm just gonna take off my seatbelt the car is not moving so i'm in a parking lot um it's saturday i'm with my mom today she's actually currently getting a massage so i'm just waiting for her it's only like 30 minutes so it's like i'm just waiting in the car um but yeah, it's Saturday. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are all doing well. As you guys saw, my apartment is a complete disaster. I cleaned my room. I showed you guys like sh um, changing my sheets and vacuuming so my room looks good. I just have to finish my laundry. 
a mess but i'm proud of myself because i made a lot of progress actually i just have like a lot to finish but yes anyway this is another productive um i think this is probably going to be like a couple days in my life because i started filming yesterday and today so that was friday today's saturday and i'm just going to like finish up cleaning my apartment and um i think that's really about it i'm i probably will show you guys a little bit like what i'm doing out with my mom i'm excited to have my apartment clean because it just feels like i just hate when things just get so like cluttered and like a mess but you know life happens so my kitchen is clean before we left my mom helped me do the dishes which is very sweet of her so when i come back i have a clean pretty clean kitchen i just have to like probably wipe down the counters have to finish my laundry and just straighten up like the living room so then my apartment will be pretty clean we did go shopping food shopping yesterday so that's another thing that we checked off the list for this week so yes i will check back in with you guys a little bit later Hey guys, so today, I'm so sorry, um, yeah, I'm not wearing a bra, but you know, yeah, I'm sorry, we all have nipples, so. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an interview for another work at home position. This is like a one-way interview. I feel like I've been, oh my god, I feel like I've been so all over the place with like work and like you know my job and all that type of stuff so if you guys saw my other video about it was titled no on the thumbnail it says adulting is hard and then i went into like what i was doing in my last position which was kind of just like a temporary assignment um the data entry temporary assignment in that video i did say that i would i was starting another job which i did it wasn't work from home it was like a warehouse position i think that's kind of all i'm gonna say about it it was just very unfitting for me i really did not like it at all so i just could not continue doing that so here we are today I'm gonna do work from home this position is more customer service that's customer service i've done customer service jobs before they're not my favorite but the bills do need to get paid so I have a pretty good, like, I feel like I have a pretty good chance of, like, actually getting this position. Um, it's full-time, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's basically, like, why I'm kind of, like, glammed up. I have a pretty good feeling that I'm going to get the position. Um, because I've done customer service before, and I think that's why they contact me back for an interview, because they saw my resume. But, um, like, from here on out... I just need to start applying for jobs that the camera's literally sliding. I am just going to start applying to jobs that actually fit my interest because I feel like I don't every like a lot of jobs like most people that I end up with I don't like it's just to have the bills paid and it doesn't fulfill me in any type of way I it's stressful it's like too much and all that type of stuff so i'm going to just start applying to jobs that actually fit my interest which happen to be like video editing content creation um like i really like editing like thumbnails and just doing stuff like that so those are the things that excite me and that actually like i'm passionate about so i'm just kind of like why am i applying to jobs that just have nothing to do with my interest like why am i doing that if you're interested in something why aren't you applying to jobs in that direction so that's what i'm going to be doing from now on so if i do get this customer service job it'll be you know until i can until like a job like that can get back to me and hire me but i'm just really over applying to things that don't suit my interest um the data entry position was cool but at the end of the day it wasn't like my dream or like what i actually wanted to be doing 
um, like long term. So, um, you know, that's kind of where we are. I'm grateful to, of course, even have the opportunity to do an interview so quickly because I left the other job a couple days ago. Maybe it was last week. I was just like, I can't do this. This just is not me. Like, I cannot do this. I don't like warehouse atmospheres. I don't like anything like that, but it was very easy and quick to get into. So that's the only reason why I did that. Basically, I talk so much. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm getting ready for. Um, it's 3.36 and they give you a couple days to do it. So um, this particular company um sent me like an interview invite maybe like two or three days ago and you have a little bit of time to like get it done because they they understand like people have busy schedules and stuff and the do like the deadline i think is in two days so i just want to get it done and out of the way and everything so yeah i mean at this point like i said in the other video we're all in this together. At this point, you guys are like literally watching me trying to get my like life together. <laughs> so, and like, I don't know, it's important to like go after things that we love and are passionate about. It's like, you really can find a job doing anything that you're like, you're interested in. Um, you just have to really take the time out to do it and um you know certain jobs do take longer to get hired into or to are more competitive i kind of feel like that's what discourages us that's what like kind of discourages us the most but at the end of the day if your heart that's where your heart is at the end of the day if that's where your heart is that's probably what you should be going after not all of us have like certain things like for me video editing video creation all that a lot of people don't have those types of um like i guess passions or wants and everything so that's fine i just feel like whatever like if you like knitting i don't know maybe try to make a knitting business or something everything is small steps and everything it takes time so it's not to say to like quit what you're doing now but um, continue what you're doing and just try to focus on what you love to do too. I will let you guys know how the interview goes. I'll let you guys know if I get that position. Um, I found this job on Indeed. But mostly any job that I find is from Indeed. Um, you'd be surprised with what you can find. So try to be specific in your searches when you're on there. So yeah, um, just getting ready. I'm just doing simple ponytail, um, nothing crazy. Put some lip gloss on. The lip gloss I used is this one. This is by Maybelline. It's called uh, Lifter Gloss. Not that I need any more lip plumping or anything, but I really like this color. My sister actually put me on to this. Um, the color is 008 Stone. This is from Walmart. I went on the portal yesterday and there's eight questions I have to answer. And then at the end of it, I just have to submit it. So I think I'm gonna go do that upstairs in my office space just so it looks better. But guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still at this point, this video is probably so long. I'm going to, I really try to keep my videos like in the 20 minute and I know that's even long, but I feel like we, um, nowadays people like long vlogs. Like I've seen vlogs like 40 minutes and I don't know, people seem to like like the longer ones. So let me know if you prefer longer vlogs or shorter vlogs because I don't know if people like actually make it to the end, which I could end, like, you know, I don't. I don't know, really expect people to, but I hope you guys make it this far into the video. And those of you who have, thank you so much for sticking along. There's like probably three days of footage within this vlog, so I'm gonna try to, um, I'm gonna try to make it at least 20 minutes. I want to get it shorter than that. I hope it's not longer than that. 
because I'm gonna I feel like there's a I, I feel like the content that I got for this video is good so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um be, be sure to follow me on my Instagram I'll have it on the screen be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below all of these things like really help my channel and help me know what you guys like to see so thumbs up I pay close attention to and comments I pay close attention to so if you guys want to help out the channel and help me out then definitely do that but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye